part of what's driving this, and I want, this is the third point I want to emphasize especially, uh, is that what's happening here is not an accident. It is an industry. And when we talk about the migration pipeline through Mexico, we're talking about a very large international smuggling black market that's worth billions of dollars. A complex network of smugglers, local officials, drivers, landowners, lookouts, loan sharks in Central America, and Mexican drug cartels control the migration flow through Mexico and have, over the past decade or so, refined it into a lucrative business enterprise. And the chief beneficiaries of this pipeline are Mexican drug cartels and the smuggling networks that that uh, work all throughout Mexico. They generally, the cartels, require every man, woman, and child who pass across the border to pay a tax, which is usually included in the fee that the smugglers will quote to Central American families. Without paying this tax, migrants cannot cross the Rio Grande and in many cases are at risk of being kidnapped or otherwise exploited by these cartels in northern Mexico. The amount of money that they bring in is substantial. In the Gulf region alone, cartel factions are making hundreds of millions of dollars annually off illegal immigration, off this tax that they charge per person. Uh, and the numbers from last year were very high. Those numbers from this year will be orders of magnitude higher. This black market is sophisticated. It starts the inception point is in villages and towns across Central America, and it works mostly at the, at the beginning through word of mouth. If you want to migrate, you get a hold of somebody whose family member or neighbor migrated, and they put you in touch with a local smuggler who quotes you a price. Adults who bring a child with them get a cheaper price because it's easier for smugglers to transport families claiming asylum than single adults who are trying to evade detection this is for the simple reason that with asylum seekers, smugglers simply uh, take them up to the U.S. border and tell them when to cross. They don't go across the border themselves, uh, and therefore they're not putting themselves at risk for being apprehended. Smugglers themselves are telling potential migrant families that if they claim asylum, they'll be allowed to stay in the U.S. and work. They don't have a deep knowledge of asylum policy, but they know enough to be able to sell the services that they're trying to get families to buy. They're incorporating this into their sales pitch, uh, and they're instructing them in what to say to U.S. authorities. It's part of how they market their services. 